Welcome everybody, we're Mr. Vegan and Mrs. Vegan and today we're here to talk about what it takes to make a baby. My wife is pregnant and we're going to have little baby vegan in just a couple yeah. weeks here and Bye. we have gone through a litany of bad advice in the medical business, in the business of being born and we wanted to dispel some rumors about what a baby is made of. So <laughs> what is a baby made out of? Well, little boys are made of snips and snails and puppy dog tails. And I guess girls are made out of sugar and spice and everything nice, right? Well, that nursery rhyme got one thing right. It takes 80,000 calories for nine months to make a baby. And 82% of those are from glucose, which are sugar. But everybody out there, where do you get your sugar from? Alright, if you're new to our channel, you might not know that human beings are starch bores. You can watch our videos on whole starch, low fat, and the truth about calories, and learn a little bit more about a proper human diet. So 80,000 calories over nine months. It's about 300 extra calories a day. So what's that look like in starches? We have 300 calories of corn, 300 calories of rice, 300 calories of potatoes, and 300 calories of oats. So is this eating for two? Or is this a snack or a side dish? This is like two bites for me. <laughs> and we wanted to take what it actually requires to make a baby and put it visually in front of you. Because what did all of the people, we fired a lot of people. We went through three doctors and midwives and all they would say is, you need more protein, you need more fat. And all I can think of, hmm, you want me to choose between preeclampsia or gestational diabetes? Let me think, you're fired. So it takes two pounds of added protein over nine months to create a baby. It's an essential nutrient. And we wanted to show you what that looks like. This is the equivalent of getting two pounds of protein from black beans over nine months. 3,600 calories of protein over nine months. Beans are about 20% protein by calorie. So that would equal you having each day just one tablespoon and a teaspoon of extra beans per day for the baby. Let me see that in my hand now. Here. That's it. So this is how much additional protein you need every day to make a healthy baby. And again, in the beginning of your pregnancy, it might look like that. And at the end of your pregnancy, you're going to have higher protein needs. So this isn't a protein shake, a protein bar. This is a palm full of beans. Have it turns out to be 23 cups of beans that you're going to total. need through the whole nine months. It's an addition to what you're eating. You can make black bean burritos. You can have a white bean scramble in the morning. What else can they do with beans? I tell you, my most important nutrient factors every day is I make sure I have my beans and my greens because that's what's going to make a healthy baby. So there are a lot of other nutrient requirements for a baby, and we're going to put those up on the screen behind us. And we want you to know that these are best met through a plant-based diet. Because even though meat has protein, it also has all this other horrible baggage. Saying you need to eat meat to get your protein is like saying... You need to drink Coca-Cola to get your water. <laughs> it's all about the baggage. And we're going to present you baggage-free meals. You can watch our USDA Dietary Guidelines video to figure out how to get all the nutrients you need on a vegan diet. We'll suggest it in the top right there. And we have a free meal plan to follow on our website, MrAndMrsVegan.com, where you can see suggested meals to hitting all those nutrient and calorie requirements. But Mr. and Mrs. Vegan, what the hell do you guys know about? You're just a bunch of dumbass vegans on YouTube! What I have before you is the Bible for Babies. This was written by Dr. Spock. Your He's grandparents read this book. This book was first printed in 1945. 1945. And it surpassed 50 million copies. This is the Bible on baby. Dr. Spock was the greatest pediatrician of all time. He went on a low-fat, plant-based diet, and it allowed him to stay on this planet, you know, for nine, almost 90-some years. 94 years. He, I'm just going to read you right here on page 380. I have personally been on a non-dairy, low-fat, meatless diet since 1991. When I was 88 years old, I have had several middle-aged, older friends who have halted heart disease, by eliminating dairy products, meats, and other high saturated fat foods from their diet. To achieve this kind of success, it's important to substitute whole grains and a variety of vegetables and fruits and to become more active. I no longer recommend dairy products after the age of two years. Of course, there was a time when cow's milk was considered very desirable, but research along with clinical experience has forced doctors and nutritionists to rethink 
this recommendation. He believed that the healthiest diet was plant-based without any meat, eggs, or dairy products at all. Smart man. We're not just some crazy vegans. <laughs> this is the, a pediatrician, the most well-known, well-respected pediatrician in the whole world recommended that everybody go plant-based and every child uh, goes plant-based. breast milk first. Yes, of course. <laughs> and then plant-based diet. Mm -hmm. We encourage all expected parents to be to get this book. It is amazing. It covers every topic you can imagine. And anybody who wants to debate you on the health of your diet and the health of your child, you can break this out and say, do you really know more than Benjamin Spock? No, it's not possible. They don't. It's not possible. Bam! <laughs> Slam dunk. Yeah, just take this out. Oh! Oh! oh I need more protein. Oh, I need more fat. Oh, I need some meat. Oh! Oh! No. oh. <laughs> So that's our video for you. Hopefully you know a little bit better about the fuel to fuel a growing baby, a growing adolescent, a growing child, a and mommy growing a baby. Don't put up with anyone's shit. Don't put up with the bullshit. Get this book and fucking Spock them. <laughs> Spock them, you've been Spocked. If you like this video, you want to see more pregnancy videos from us, please subscribe and give us a thumbs up, of course. And eat healthy, everyone. The future of the world depends on it. Fucking vegans, what do you know? <laughs> oh. Are you the couple that's not into ultrasound? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, here we go. So it's 34 centimeters, which is pretty good size. So if anyone questions your vegan motherhood, what do you do? You spot them and spot them. You can get these books on Amazon. There's over 50 million in print, so you can get them for as cheap as a penny. Make sure to get the seventh edition or higher. This is the ninth edition. 